This is the best day of my life. Welcome to Taskmaster Australia. My name is Tom Gleeson and I am this country's only Taskmaster. This is, in many ways, the Sydney Olympics of television. Heroes will be born, hearts will be broken and ultimately it should bring about $7 billion to the Australian economy. <laughs> and why do it? So one lucky athlete can come home with this, my beautiful head cast in gold. <laughs> On the starting blocks tonight are the same contestants we always have. Daniel Walker, Jimmy Reese, Julia Morris, Luke McGregor, and Nina Yama. And what would an Olympics be without its Nikki Webster, it's my cute little super starlet <laughs> Tom Cashman. Our first task is a prize task. Each of our contestants have brought in a prize. The best one will be awarded five points, and the contestant who wins this episode will walk home with all five prizes. Tonight, they have been asked to bring in what they consider to be the coolest thing they've found on a walk within one kilometre of their house. <laughs> a great prize task and a great incentive to do 15 minutes of light exercise. <laughs> Luke, what did you find? Some people are lucky enough to live near a view with a nice bench. And I don't live next to that. One of the people in my neighbourhood took it upon themselves to create a, a sitting spot with a view, um, and I found uh, this. <laughs> I, just, I just had a thought too, because I brought in the chair, that means there is no longer that view spot anymore. <laughs> So you didn't bring in the view, which, which was the thing that you seemed to be most captured by. Yeah, yeah, no, there's a, there was a mistakes were made. Uh... <laughs> OK, Jimmy, what did you bring in? I go there all the time and it's a cool, hipster, wankery kind of cafe. Oh. I attempted to haul it here, but I just had to steal some menus. Here, here it is. <laughs> Look at all the funky titles to all the meals. You can tell the baristas have long beards and man buns. <laughs> OK, Nina, what have you hauled in? Well, I live 350 metres from Anthony Albanese's office. Oh. Um, so I brought a Marrickville pork roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so talk us through the pork roll. They are delicious and um, if they see this and want to sponsor me, I would love to get some free food. <laughs> OK. But is it cool? I think it's pretty cool, yes. Thank you, the crowd has spoken. Your opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs> Danielle, what did you bring in for us? I have to preface this with I don't live near a beach or river system. And so on a walk, I found a crab that was alive. <laughs> OK. It was in the middle of a freaking park. Oh, yeah, I just found a crab. I don't know if a bird dropped it. This is the photo of it. It was that big. Oh. Yeah, it's a pretty big crab, I thought, for a park. Were you not tempted to boil it up and eat it? Once Mum made me shell 15 kilos of prawns at Christmas and I went off seafood since then. <laughs> OK, unnecessary detail, but I liked it. <laughs> Julia. Uh, well, at the corner of my street is one of those amazing... You know, those, like, blow-up things. There he is! <laughs> you brought that in? Yes, sir, I did. But, yeah, the... Woo! It's a lot of fun. I mean, it's no chair. <laughs> Which brings me to the scoring, Luke. Uh, <laughs> I think you have to be at the bottom on one because it's just, it's just a chair. Oh, yeah. It's... What? Why are you feeling sorry for an ordinary-looking man who brought in a chair? <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Luke on one. Nina, that's, it's just a pork roll and they're pretty cheap. It's you know? the best pork roll in Sydney. But it, it's unimpressive. OK. All right, so, Jimmy, you're on three with your menu. Cool. Uh, on four points, I'm going to go with Danielle with the crab. Julia, the inflatable man's the coolest, surely. Five points. Yeah. Colour and movement. All right, well, let's start digging into the good gear, Tom. All right, but I must warn you, I have a sinking feeling, by which I mean I have a good feeling that this next task relates to sinking. <laughs> Hi. 
Hi, Jimmy. It's so far away. Well, 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 Tom. Welcome to the dock. Thank you so much, sir. You look like a celebrant at a wedding. Huh? What's that about? The ball. Yeah. You'll see. Do you want me just to go to, or do you want to catch up, or what do you want to? Maybe just go straight. Just do it. Sink the bowling ball. You cannot get wet. The fastest wins. Sink the bowling ball. Ooh, I. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Your time starts now. I'm glad it says you can't get wet because that would be on my list regardless. <laughs> okay. So that's all there is to it. Just sink the bowling ball. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Who are you showing me first? It's Luke and Danielle. What technique do you use? Maybe cricketer? Okay, well, I'll just do this thing. Ah! Ah, this is not very fast. Ah! Ah! The current! Please hit the ball. Ah! Oh, my God. It's not sinking. Ah! You've tricked me. Must be one of those light ones. What'd you get a light one for? Get a ball, it's a... Oh, OK. OK. So I've got to now make him sink. Oh, God, all right. How do you row? Is it supposed to stick? I've never actually rowed before, I just realised. How do I get into the shore? Tom? Tom, am I moving in the right direction? Tom? Oh, no. I wish I knew how to row. Uh, OK, no, 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 no! Get to the ball! Come on, no, the wind! No! What if I just get stuck out here forever? Grab, grab the oar, pull me the ball. Thank you, keep going, keep going, we're close. OK, good, thank you, buddy. Can you pull, can you pull that in? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't help me, I'm fine. I didn't know bowling balls floated. I'm going to put it in this crab pot. Let's go. OK. My bum's not wet, by the way. I pissed my pants in the boat. It's not water. And piss doesn't count as wet? No, no, no. It's, it's, uh, that's, that's different. What the fuck? Ah! No, 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 no! The crab pot sank. Yeah, I can tell that. and dries a bone. Can you use the anchor if I can, maybe? It's annoying because the ball is spherical, you know? Yeah. Could you give us a quick twirl? No. Do you think it's possible to tie a chain around a bowling ball? Mm. Is that me? Yes, that is you that I'm making fun of. Ah! Quick. Great. Please. Please, 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 please. It's under the water. Look at that. That sank. Like I said, I wet my pants. It's not from the water. <laughs> so, Luke, I will accept that you weren't wet if you're happy to admit here in front of all of your peers that that was 100% human piss. <laughs> Is that fair? I'm worried I'll say it was piss and then you'll give me one point anyway. <laughs> Well, you've got nothing to lose. I, I don't want to answer more questions without my lawyer. <laughs> so, in the end, you just put it in the sink. So, did you consider that sinking the bowling ball? Yeah. Well, if someone said, uh, those dishes need sinking, that means they need putting in the sink. Um, you took a very long time, Danielle. Yeah, I fully know that, because I disassembled the full thing that the bowling ball was on to try and wrap the chains around the ball. Mm. I reckon I did that for... 15 to 20 minutes before I realised I couldn't wrap chains around the ball. <laughs> Would you like to know how long they took? Yeah. So Luke put the ball in the sink after 14 minutes and 6 seconds. Wow. Danielle sank her ball after 40 minutes and 23 <laughs> seconds. I've got two more contestants. One loves pretending to be a woman. The other would be in prison if she was a man. Here's Jimmy and Julia. <laughs> I knew it 
would float. Knew it would float. And that's why this is here. Launching a vessel, sir. I haven't done this since the late 70s. Stupid Tom and his stupid tasks with his stupid things. We're going in! I'm not mucking around, babe. Is there any eels in here? We are going in. Oh, yes. <laughs> going with one oar. Been working out the arms, Tom. Don't want to brag. Fastest wins! Whee! Ah. Uh, I am the fastest. Okay, still not wet. Come here, bowling ball. Here we go. Now. Put this under here, like this, and... There you go, sunk it. Is your hand getting wet there? Not wet by a very, the very definition of it. <laughs> How would you define wet? Um, soaking. It's quite warm, the water, actually. It's not bad. How do you know that? Well, because it's on my knees. Oh. It hasn't gone to the ground, so it hasn't sunk to the bottom by its very nature, but it is in a type of sink. OK. Did you touch it with your hand as well? No. I row, row, row. That's probably my worst yet, is it? Couldn't tell you. That doesn't count. It's getting wet. Doesn't it? Well, define wet. Covered or saturated with water or another liquid. OK, yeah, I'm done with it now. Now, I'm going to grab onto some verdant grass and bring myself into the shoreline. Is the reason we asked none of them to get into the water because that lake looked a bit disgusting? It was full of... <laughs> it was a, Ebola it was full of? A cola. Ebola? A cola. <laughs> I knew it had something tricky. That would be crazy if it was only now we told you that the lake had Ebola. <laughs> <laughs> it would have made the challenge a lot harder. You seem like you were disqualifying yourself there, Jimmy. No, no, no. I, I think I defined wet at the end. And okay. it pretty much said... Submerged in water. Okay, well, you were wet on the front of the uh, front of your legs. Do you... That was from like. <laughs> <laughs> this is from my mate over here. He was there before me. Oh, so he did he the test himself. He's admitted. He's ad he admitted that now. All right. I'm happy to admit it if I get five points. Um... <laughs> I think I'm going to accept that everyone got a little bit wet. So I'm going to just put that aside because I think the spirit of the rule was that you couldn't jump out with the bowling ball and completely submerge it while getting into the lake. Oh, otherwise we definitely would have done that. <laughs> <laughs> What are the times so far? So Julia sank the ball in 8 minutes and 14 seconds. Oh, wow. Jimmy sank the ball in 2 minutes and 4 wow. seconds. Wow. OK, who's throwing some pins across the lake next? Her surname means small mountain in Japanese, but she's got a big mountain to climb here. It's Nina Oyama. Wait, what's the point of the task? Sorry. Fastest. OK. I mean, there's a boat here. There is a boat there. Oh, my God. OK. Is this how you... What? I can't believe this worked. Hey! Did I? I did it! <laughs> it's like, you can use the boat. Mm. The catch with this boat is that you have to get it back. Oh, my God. What a time. <sighs> oh, I need to lie down. <laughs> You done? I think so. I'll know. just double check the brief again. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was done ages ago. Okay. What is he filming? Oh. Forgot my. Hi. There you Very early on in this series, you made a bet with Tom Cashman that you were going to win the whole thing. How do you think that bet's looking now? <laughs> I mean, it's episode four. But, yeah, pretty badly, actually. <laughs> I really regret that. So what happened after we finished filming is we left the bowling ball in the lake. So Nina's attempt is still ongoing. <laughs> <laughs> Her time currently stands at 78 days, 9 hours and 23 minutes. <laughs> Okay. Can we have all the scores? All right, then one point for Nina, two for Danielle, three for Luke, four for Julia, and the winner of the task with five points is Jimmy! 
And what has that done to our episode scoreboard? The winner so far is Julia with nine points. <laughs> OK, Tom Cashman, I have a hunger that can only be satiated with more tasks. <laughs> Fine. I hope you're a breakfast at night kind of guy. Tom, are you in there? Yep. Can you see me if I do this? <laughs> yeah. Hello, Tom. Hi, Daniel. Is he guessing one too? Oh, sorry. That's a good look for you. You think? Yeah, doing something useful. Did you know huh? that the sound man would easily be the sexiest man alive? Do you want to know why? Why? Man that listens. Oh. It's a joke for the ladies. Snap something and crackle something. And pop something. Your first snap, crackle and pop counts. Most satisfying snap, crackle and pop wins. You have 20 minutes. So crackle, so crackle, I obviously want to set something alight. What's that last line? Oh my God. Honestly, it's like I've got a personal block. But your time starts now. Okay. So pretty straightforward. We're looking for satisfying snaps, crackles and pops. And your first snap, crackle and pop count. All right, spare me up. Who's first? I don't know if he's good at the game snap, but he sure is a card. It's Luke McGregor. OK, snap. I'll be back. I'll be back with some, something to snap. One of these did make a very loud snap, but I'm pretty certain if I snap a whole bunch, it'll make one loud big snap. <laughs> that was not worth it. Crackle. I feel like that's going to be pretty loud. What would be a good pop? I can write a pop song. Tom Gleason was a redhead. But then he lost all his hair. But I still got mine. I'm just worried that's my future. So I'm using a lot of products to try and avoid that happening. Then like roll it down the keyboard, like just sort of. You kind of wrecked it at the end there. Sorry. Thanks, Luke. See you on tour. Hmm? Sorry, Tom. Um, sorry about that song. I think I think I think you look better without him, personally. I think it, I think it looks good. I. <laughs> Luke, it was a great pop song. I really liked it. Would you Would you like to sing it to my face? No. <laughs> no, I'm Are good. You I sure. Care. I forgot that I did that. <laughs> I think you've forgotten that about a lot of your tasks. Yeah. <laughs> was that a crackle or more of a crunch or a bang? And I thought if I just put the microphone in with the uh, in with the rice rice. A generic. Rice. Generic rice? <laughs> they, would, they would make a crackling sound. Would you like to know the definition of crackle? Yep. A rapid succession of short, sharp noises. Oh, it did that? It did that? I think it did no succession. It was just a thud. <laughs> All right. Tom, I've been meaning to say, you look great holding the boom mic. I'm just happy you have something to fall back on. This whole thing doesn't work out. <laughs> I'm just happy I'll always have a job working with you. <laughs> OK. Who have we got next? Whether or not she can crackle, she sure is a crack up. It's Danielle Walker. Most satisfying. It would be satisfying to shoot a gun. You're asking me to get you a gun? There's an eggshell in the bin. I can crackle that. This is the obvious choice. And you know I've been wanting to use this every day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do crackle first. Okay, I've got three minutes or something. Two minutes and 42 seconds. Oh. One minute and five seconds. Oh, gosh. I'm not going to get this done, am I? That's my snap. 22 seconds. 22 seconds, 22 seconds, 22 seconds, 22 seconds. How long now? 14 seconds. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for that time. Another day of living my dream. 
What did you use to make that crackle noise? An egg I found in the bin, just the shell. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very satisfying sound. Yeah, it felt... I didn't, did you see my face? I was like... Oh. Were you going to take an axe to that? Yeah, but they kept banning me from using the axe. <laughs> Danielle's plan was to use the axe, axe. to pop the exercise ball. <laughs> yeah, because you'd suspect it would whack, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, who's next? Whether or not she can pop, she lives in a bubble. It's Julia Morris. It snap something, crackle or something, pop something. Run that? Is that a pop? That's tick, a pop. Tick the pop. Okay, so I feel like we've got our how very dear. Oh my you. god! There's your snap. But are you ready for your crackle? Thanks, Julia. <laughs> so you lit the rice bubbles. The way that you just did that straight away made me feel like you've done that before. <laughs> no, but I love that stick lighter because you can light things from a distance. Should we worry about you in the summer months? No. <laughs> You'll never find me. I'm all in battle fatigue. <laughs> I've got to tell you about flamethrowers, Julia. <laughs> oh, yes. Methane. Can I, can I swap spots? Can no, I sit down there? I must say, the snap was great. Do you snap at home? Not anymore, sir, cos I'm no longer married. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so your marriage snapped. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so it was a great snap, but I thought the pot was a bit shit. You just kind of threw that one away. I just wanted to get out of there. I wanted to go home early. OK, keep the snaps, crackles, etc. coming. I don't know if he can snap, crackle and pop, but he sure can yap, cackle and prop. It's Jimmy Reese. I'm thinking maybe I could snap a frame with the Taskmaster in it or something. Whoa. I think I'm going to... Like, if I could have done it that way, but I think sitting on his face might be a bit more satisfying. Here we go. This is the crackle sound. Ready? Pop. Uh-oh, a sudden, short, explosive sound. Let's try and put a balloon inside a balloon and have a double pop. I've double walled it. Count me down! 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. <laughs> I'm feeling satisfied. Talk me through the double balloon. I just thought if I kept blowing it up, it would be harder with two. <laughs> you said that sitting on my face would be more satisfying. It was a great snap, but it's what? not supposed to be satisfying for you. It's supposed to be satisfying for the listener. If I did it the other way around, I would... Your feet would be going up my ass, which, <laughs> which I feel like is what's happening all the time <laughs> on this show. OK. <laughs> All right, who's up? What's been impressive about all these attempts so far is the sounds they get on their first attempt, as per the rules. Just thought I'd bring that up for no reason. Anyway, we have one more contestant, Nina Oyama. I think, like, snapping a twig will be a good vibe. It's really helpful to read the envelope. <laughs> OK, ready? Oh, that sucked. Oh, that was... Do, do, can I do a second snap? All the information you need is in the task. OK. I'm going for another twig. I'm going for another... I'm going to get a lot of twigs. Hang on, let me, let me do this one again. Oh! Ha, ha. That's a snap! Oh, snap! Oh, that, that has, like, a crackly kind of sound. OK, are you ready? You know what, I'm just going to shelve this. This is like part of the B squad of sounds. This is crackle time, ready? 
Now that's a crackle. That is... Can I do that thing? It's just not very satisfying. It's like a weak dog pop. Like, it's not good enough. Okay, what about this? <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> I think, yeah, that's a, that's a great A pop. Beautiful. Okay. Thanks, Nana. You carried the task around with you the whole time. <laughs> you did, and at one point you literally said, it's really helpful to read the envelope. You just gotta trust me, like, the ones that I got to were, like, really, really good. Like, they were, like, so good. I mean, you were there, like, yeah. how good were they? They were so good. <laughs> but I get to have the first one? Yeah, they count. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. The ones you said were shit. <laughs> OK, well, it's pretty clear the scoring for me. I think Luke's on one. Oh. Despite not having second attempts that didn't count like Nina did. Nina, you're on two. I really liked Julia's snap, uh, but the pot was thrown away, so you're on three points. Thank you. Danielle got a really good reaction from the crowd, but Jimmy got the best on with five. <laughs> Very satisfying sound from Jimmy. What's going on, Tom Cashman? Oh, not much. Just about to introduce a task. <laughs> Here's one for the spreadheads. Hello, Tom. Hi, Luke. Hi. Oh. oh, what is that? Is this Vegemite? It's generic yeast spread. Sorry. That sounds so much worse. <laughs> Have the task isn't to open the jar. Thoroughly spread this generic yeast spread on the best thing. You have 12 minutes. Your time starts now. I mean... So, not much to this one. Our contestants need to choose the best thing. The retreat contains many things, thousands of things, 18,000 things okay. in total. Would you like to know what some of them are? Play one of the clips, I reckon. <laughs> right away. It's Nina and Danielle. If he's the judge... Well... Tom Gleason, it is. I mean, I was gonna put it on you, but I figured you wouldn't like that. I do hope somebody else does it, though. I think I'm gonna go with this world map. Maybe if the whole world was covered in generic yeast spread, we'd yeah. all have one problem that we could unite against. Like an Independence Day? Yeah, the threat of genetic yeast spread. Mm. Generic yeast. Generic yeast! Calm down, please. A big smile for him. He's very happy about the fact he's the best thing. Now I just need to throw a suit on him. The rotation stops working once you cover it in mm. generic meat spread. Yes. Yeah, same thing. See the likeness there? Yeah. Ta-da! He's thoroughly spread on that. <laughs> uh oh Paul. Oh. Completely clean the generic yeast spread off your best thing. Fastest window time starts now. Okay, kitchen. Yeah. I thought the paper would really smear, but it's actually quite durable. Okay, great, great, great. And that's done, right? <coughs> Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, this is actually pretty funny. Oh, I'm gonna fully throw up. This looks so foul. It's making me feel ill. Mm. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> it's just the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't think I was the worst. The best? Only time I'll tell. It's like Moses in the reeds. And that's cleaned. That's completely clean? Yeah, smashed it. How do you think it went compared to the other tasks at this lake? Oh, bad. I think I'm like a lake guy, so it's... Yeah. Yeah. OK, bye. Yeah, did you see the bowling ball still floating there? <laughs> but hey, at least we know where all that E. coli came from. <laughs> so, Danielle, Nina, how did you feel about my little double task for you there? 
Well, mine, it came off pretty fast. I was pretty chuffed with it, to be honest. I feel good about it. What about you, Nina? Having to see it all come off in the bathtub, it looked like someone had had diarrhoea in the bath. <laughs> like, I cannot stress enough how much it looked like actual shit and of like various sizes, like some there were big logs. Stop describing it. It's really hard to clean non-specified genetic, oh, <laughs> generic yeast in brand. Spread. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> generic <laughs> yeast spread. Yeast. So how'd they do? All right, so Nina cleaned planet Earth in 11 minutes and eight seconds. Better than all those companies out there. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I would hate to be a corporation right now. <laughs> Danielle cleaned Tom Gleason in a brisk two minutes and 21 seconds. Uh, more spreading, please, Tom. Forget Vegemite toast for breakfast. This guy is really salty in the mornings. It's Luke McGregor. <laughs> kind of want to stick my arm in it to see how it feels. I got to do it for science. I've never had a jar this big before. Mm. How's it feel? It doesn't feel good. Um, okay. Oh. Got an idea. All right, close your eyes for a second. Okay. Okay, open your eyes. Guess which one is my real hand? Tom? <laughs> Guess which one's my real hand? My right? Your left. Yeah. You hear us. Do you want to try it? Close your eyes. Closing my eyes? Yep. yep. Open your eyes. Oh, they're so similar. Your left. Ah! Oh. <laughs> you actually got me. How much time we got left? 43 seconds. Oh, okay. Now, you know that scene in Predator? Get a big old globule. Mm hmm. Dylan, you son of a bitch. That actually wasn't that bad. Oh! All right. Oh, no! Don't be clean it off. Don't be clean it off. Completely clean the generic yeast for it off your missing <laughs> fastest wins. Okay, with what? This is not working. It doesn't really come off, does it? No. Ooh. Go back out there for a second. All right, one more game. You might have to squint for this one, like blurry okay. your eyes a little. Are you squinting? I'm really squinting. Don't cheat. Your hand is on the left. My left? Yes. I don't know if you squint. Yeah, I don't think you squinted. I was squinting. This is clean? Yeah, that's how it was before. I had a bathroom accident. That was before the, the game, so yeah. That's... So that's human feces? That's human feces, yeah, that's yeah. your... I prefer if you don't make a big deal of it. Because uh, I'm already embarrassed by it. And you're comfortable with that just being there? I'll wash it up separately to the task. I just don't want to waste time getting penalised for what was clearly just an accident in the toilet. <laughs> so at the, at the beginning of the show, you were prepared to say that you wet yourself to avoid saying that you got splashed, and now you're prepared to say that you had... Like a poo all up my forearm? Yeah. It was just unfortunate on the same day we were dealing with Vegemite, I happened to get poo all over my arm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the luck. You know what I was really excited about? You created a task within the task. Yeah, I, um, I kind of forgot what the task was halfway through. And <laughs> I could tell, just... but I don't care, because you created entertainment. You created a whole other task, and that was... Guess which hand is mine? <laughs> it was very entertaining. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it was no, great, great viewing. Yeah, Tom and I are going to take it on the road next year. <laughs> you know what the best thing is? You invented a task within the task and then you lost at that task. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it might have affected the result. How did he do? Well, if we accept that the rest of that stuff on his arm was faeces, <laughs> his time was 7 minutes and 33 seconds. Anyone left? I hope you like national youth radio broadcasters because we're about to tune into the Jays. It's Jimmy and Julia. I'm pretty sure I have said to you, Tom, that you are the best thing about this show. Oh, OK. Better than... Right. Voldemort. Do you mind just laying down on this table? OK. All right. You want it. You got it. It's like a day spa. Give you a little head massage. Oh, that's quite nice. That's quite nice. And this is like the oil. People don't always treat you like you're the best thing, don't you reckon? <coughs> so this is self-love, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at that. <coughs> oh, it's quite dense. 
some people eat it this way, you know? Listen to this. Some websites love that. Okay. I don't want to touch your, you know, your... Um, oh, right, that's appreciated. Do you mind if I just drop a bit on there? Cos I'll just put a little... There we go, just okay. a little bit on the... That's nice. I just thought if anyone was feeling a little bit hungry... <laughs> oh! Is this the next task? You are a cheeky piece, Tom. I hope the next task is a shower. High five. Thanks, mate. <laughs> OK, stand by. OK. All right, honey bear. OK, so we're going to get that off. OK. Just be careful. We don't want to get it anywhere, OK? Well, it's quite thoroughly on you, isn't it? Are you clean? Well, you be the judge. I'm going to have to trust you to some degree. There we go, Jimmy. Thanks, mate. OK. I'll just pop off to the dry cleaners. Well, I don't think the show's going to get much hornier than that. <laughs> there was a lot going on there. Like, why I would take my clothes off on television, honestly, that's going to tell you how bad my mental health is. <laughs> Can you explain putting the, the bread on your leg? I don't think that was part of... Because you had to cover something. I don't even know where the bread came from. <laughs> I remember none of that. You asked me to get it for you from the kitchen. Did I? <laughs> High-level trauma. So you lose a lot of stuff. It's... OK, so, Jimmy, mm -hmm. I think we got it back from the dry cleaner, didn't we? Mm-hmm. OK, let's have a look. Oh. Look at that! Look how clean that is! Oh. Oh. Why don't you have a look at it, Jimmy, just see if it's up to your standards. Yeah, it's, um... <laughs> it's cl it smells clean. What does it smell like? It smells like... <laughs> <laughs> I think it smells like Luke's arm. <laughs> I feel like that might affect the results. Well, hang on, it wasn't a smell test, though, was it? Did everyone smell um, Danielle's picture of you? Did you smell Luke's arm? Cos that obviously no, no, no. would have stung. To be fair... <laughs> I'm just saying... Julia, are you setting me a task within the task? <laughs> Would you like right. to know the time? Yeah, how'd they go? Uh, so Julia had a shower and dried herself and came back in 6 minutes, 32 seconds. Ooh. OK. Yeah. My suit was returned from the dry cleaners 4 days, 16 hours <laughs> and 27 minutes. <laughs> pretty good, though. It's pretty clean. So obviously Jimmy is on one. We have Nina on two, Luke on three, Julia on four, and the winner of the task is Danielle with five points. And how has that task spread our cast across the overall scores? The current winner is Julia with 16 points. <laughs> OK, that's all very well and good, but it's far from over. You lot up on the stage for the live task! <laughs> Tonight's live task will be performed in teams. <gasps> Luke, could you please read the task? In your teams, recreate famous scenes from history for the taskmaster. Once the taskmaster has correctly guessed your famous scene, you may recreate another. You may only speak in four-letter words. Most scenes correctly guessed in 150 seconds wins. Correct. The team of two will be going first. Never going to be ready. <coughs> oh, 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 oh. Grass. Grass has five letters. Boom! 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 Uh, JFK assassination. Correct. Oh, gosh. Iron. Head. Boom! 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 I'm thinking it's something to do with Ned Kelly, perhaps. Correct. 2000. Oh. <laughs> um. Bugs. 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 Hap. New. -y. Year. Bugs. <laughs> Hap. New. -y. Year. Oh, that's a. Are you doing a Y? Y2K. Oh. Yes! Correct. You're a genius. Please oh, move oh, to the chair. Okay. Oh, God. The other team. Oh. Um. <coughs> Rats! Sick! Rats! Sick! Sick! Sick from Rats. me! Rats! 
Oh, uh, Black Death. Correct? Yes! So, okay. Yes! Uh, <laughs> um, uh, um, um, um. Fire! Lava! Fire! It's a crazy fruit. Mama! Pompeii. Pompeii. Yeah. Okay. Whoa! 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 Uh, Whoa! 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 Fall of the Berlin Wall. Correct. Very good. Oh. Oh. Same. 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 Nine, two. Oh. Mm -hmm. Song. Oh, da Dolly. Da da Dolly Parton. No, no, no. Oh, Dolly the Sheep. Dolly the Sheep. Yes. Correct. Uh, cash, 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 cash. Oh, yes. GFC crash. Correct. He got it. Thanks for that. It was not only competitive but extremely educational. Oh. So Tom Cashman, some stats and figures from our live task, please. Well, our team of two uh, got three of the scenes correct. However, they said the word grass as the very first word of yeah. one of them. <laughs> but only one S. I was using the umlaut above the A to give it uh, its gravitas. <laughs> grass. You convince me, I think it's fine. Okay, so they're on three, and then team two got five. Amazing, very impressive. All right, this means we have a winner, but let's hold you in suspense one moment longer. What is our series scoreboard looking like, Tom? Our current season winner so far, Danielle, with 66 hey. points. Hey. Tonight's episode ends with it's Jimmy and Julia with 19 <laughs> points. We've got another tiebreaker. All right. What's the tiebreak? We'll be watching Jimmy and Julia attempt to honk a car horn the quietest. <laughs> Just quiet, making it quiet. Where does the honk come from? I'm assuming this is the horn we're talking about, babes. 35 seconds. Don't, why are you putting it under there for? 24 seconds. What do you think? Oh. Thanks, Jimmy. Can I just say, in my own life, that's what would have happened. Who had the quietest horn? By five decibels, Jimmy Reese had the quietest horn. <laughs> five things found on five walks in various urban, suburban, and semi rural areas of Eastern Australia are yours to enjoy. Tonight we learnt that bowling balls can be annoyingly buoyant. <laughs> and we also learnt that Tom Cashman better hope this show gets another season as he makes a terrible sound operator. <laughs> Most importantly, however, we learnt our episode four winner is Jimmy! <laughs> we'll see you next week with more Taskmaster! For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.